Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'll be checking out Black Arch Linux for the first time. I'm here on the login screen where we can select between desktops. If I go down to the bottom left, we have the default, Spectre, WM, a window manager, Fluxbox, i3, Awesome, and Openbox. So they have quite a few window managers available and for selection, but I'm going with Fluxbox since that was the default and I'll go with the default language as well as the default keyboard US and let's log in. Funny story, while I was trying to download this image for installing Black Arch on my computer, the computer decided to restart itself with only about a gig left, which really hurts since it's about a 15 gigabyte file in order to download the image. And with that mentioned, the full ISO, like I said, is 15 gigabytes, huge, but it's necessary to get all the preloaded security tools for pen testing with Black Arch Linux. There's also two other versions available and I'll show those off real quick. We have the 15 gig file, which is the full ISO. We have the slim version, which is 4.5 gigs and the net install version. Just know when you're using the net install, it will require a network connection to the internet in order to go through the installation for Black Arch. And as things load in, it's a little bit overwhelming here, at least the background, but I guess that's to be expected of a hacking distribution. And this is absolutely minimal. So here on the desktop, besides the wallpaper on the background, we have different workspaces here on the bottom up to four on the right hand side you can barely see it but it's the current date and time and that's really it until we right click but before we do make sure to smash that like button for me it really does help me out let's check out what tools we get with the full iso if i right click i have terminals so various different terminals and all the difference here is is the color of the font as i'm typing in f's in the terminal you see we have yellow gray green so on so forth you can exit out of here as well. We do have some basic desktop environment functions, which is nice. Again, right click, going back to terminals, we look through all of those. Browsers, we have Firefox and Chromium by default. If we go under network, we have the Wi-Fi radar and the Wi-Fi radar pole kit. And in the next section here, in the black arch section, we get into a huge list of various different tools. But before we get into those, let's talk a little bit about Black Arch Linux. Black Arch Linux is based off of Arch Linux, as the name suggests, and focuses heavily on security, privacy, and creating an easy to deploy environment for developers or ethical hackers. There are plenty of tools at your disposal with the 15 gig version. Of course, there are different versions and it's a great alternative to Kali Linux or Parrot OS. The best part of this is if you launch a terminal, yes, you get to use one of the greatest package managers, Pacman. So if I do, let's do sudo pacman space dash syy and see what source repos we have here. We have the core extra community, multi-lib black arch and blackarch.sig, all available to pull packages down from. Of course, for those of you who are familiar with Arch Linux, this is probably the best distribution alternative to use for a security or pen testing distribution. I'll exit out of here, I'll exit out of here, and let's get back into looking at the simple environment here. If I right click and go back to that subcategory called Black Arch, we have all sorts of subcategories and now you start seeing why the ISO is so large is because we have all of these tools at our disposal. Stuff for anti-forensics, automation, automobile, backdoor, binary, Bluetooth, code audit, configuration, and it keeps going on, cryptography, cryptos, defensive, dissemblers, DOS, drone, mobile, networking, NFC. Some of these are just overwhelming in themselves. Here's one for networking. If we click on any of these, we have a launched version of whatever tool that you're trying to use. Clearly, EtherCap requires some type of arguments before it can run, so those are all spelled out for you right away. Let's see if we can just get something here real quick. Let's keep checking these out. So under fingerprint, bunch of tools, key loggers, malware, I mean, miscellaneous, there's just so much here, it's quite overwhelming. Going down, we can get to the Fluxbox menu so we can configure 
our Fluxbox environment, including choosing a system style, user style, if we have one, workspace list, if you wanna add or subtract workspaces, tools, Fluxbox commands, reloading the configuration, restarting, and just searching the about if you wanna learn more about it. A very simple to use environment, nothing getting in the way of using Black Arch Linux for ethical hacking, pen testing, and development. It's all very minimalistic here. Personally, I don't like the background here. It's a little much going on. Random code written out. A simple black screen with just the logo in the middle would have been fine as well for me, but to each their own. It doesn't take away from all the tools that are available here, which is quite amazing. I mean, just look at wireless, how many different tools they have available as well. It can be overwhelming. That's why you should definitely check out the tools section of their website. Let me bring that up. Here we go, the hacking tools list. We have over 2,700 tools available. Now, if you don't know exactly what a tool is for, you can check out this summary page with a nice description for each and every tool that they have on the system. As it can get overwhelming to actually search the system for these tools, what you can mainly do is select one of these tools, then copy and paste that into the terminal. So you can either get more information or actually start the tool for yourself once you found something that you want to use. For example, here's a Cisco OCS. It says it's a Cisco router default password scanner. So I assume this package here can help detect whether a Cisco router on the network somewhere has a default password and tries cracking it, which is quite incredible. But since there's so many tools, it can get quite overwhelming. I'll make sure to put a link to this web page in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. I highly suggest using this if you want to more easily find your way around Black Arch Linux. Also, if you're lacking one of these tools, you can also install them using Pac-Man since the Black Arch repository is available as a source. And another thing I want to mention is the guide section, which is just as helpful. You have guides in various different languages. Let's just check out the English page real quick. If we zoom in a little bit, we have the Black Arch Linux guide. And if we go down, we can see the various different things that are available. We have a user guide, an introduction, and a developer guide guide as well here and then tools coming soon so that I assume is going to be how to use some of those tools that are featured in Black Arch Linux but again this is a nice little primer just to get you started with using Black Arch Linux make sure to check it out and they have a friendly community that is willing to help as well if you want to check out the forums so another thing I wanted to check out is if I start a new terminal let's start it in gray here I'll pull it in the middle we'll expand this out a little bit and now let me do H Top, just to kind of get a feel for what the system's using. Only 209 megabytes out of 3.8 four gigabytes available being used. The CPU usage is hovering around 0.7%, quite a minimal environment here using Fluxbox. We have 24 tasks with 12 threads and we've been up for about 20 minutes. If we also check out NeoFetch, well, it doesn't look like that one actually comes, so we'll install it real quick. Now we can check out the system information. This is running Arch Linux, kernel version 5.9. We have 5,668 storage packages here bash 5.0 running we're running the window manager called fluxbox window theme is black arch the theme and icons are iwata the terminal says it's a urxvt not a big fan of ur XVT, mainly just because of configuration, but that's all easily changed. Moving on, we have the XOS4 Terminus font, and this is being emulated with an AMD Ryzen 7 37X, and we're still running around 200 megabytes out of the four gigs available on the system. If for some reason you want to install Black Arch on top of Arch Linux, which will give you all the security tools and features that Black Arch Linux offers. It is actually available through the AUR as a package. Many people don't know about this, but if you want to try out Black Arch Linux, you can do this through Arch Linux by making a super easy upgrade to your current system all through the AUR. This is something mentioned on their website. If you scroll down far enough on the download section, it says right here that Black Arch Linux is compatible with existing or normal Arch installations. And here is how to set that up. So you have the Black Arch Linux repos available to you on Arch Linux. Follow these steps. If you wanna try out the tools from the Black Arch Linux repository, a great way to test things out before actually committing 
to downloading the 15 gigs from Black Arch. And that's really it. There's not much to Black Arch Linux. It's super minimal, easy to use, gives you multiple different desktop environments or window managers, and is highly focused on security and pen testing. That way you can test out vulnerabilities either on your network or on various different systems. And it's highly comparable to the likes of Kali Linux and Parrot OS. In my opinion, it's better just because it's based off of Arch Linux and you get the Pac-Man package manager, which is an absolute treat. And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.